What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and I filmed this bit earlier but it didn't go quite as planned so take two. And anyway guys, today we are going over the CNC fabrication high pressure oil pump for the early style 6 liter power strokes. But first YouTube, if you guys haven't already, and girls, sorry, guys and girls, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of CNC fabrication and if you guys have any reviews out there and your experience with them as well. Now let's get to the fun part here and that is the actual high pressure oil pump. Now I do need to come completely clean that the high pressure oil pump, this is the stock one guys, but we're going to get into why it's okay to review the stock looking pump in just a second here. So this is what you get, it comes in a bag that's zip tied shut and uh, you have bubble wrap on either side. The packing on this was phenomenal and inside the box again just phenomenal packing, very, very cautious uh, making sure that this didn't receive any damage of any kind so basically you unpack it yours will be cleaner from him and this is what it looks like though now many of you guys are already going to know that the stock housing has a flaw and that is it is prone to backplate wear out he talks about this on his website and until recently the only fix that i was aware of was the diesel site adrenaline pump no, I'm not talking bad about them by any means, guys. I just went a different route, that's all. Now, as far as the back plate wear out and the fact that this isn't the really cool looking, fancy billet aluminum housing everyone's used to seeing on upgraded six liter pumps is there's actually a fix from factory. And that is the original manufacturer of these pumps sells an updated housing that fixes the issues with these pumps. So although the really cool billet housing is awesome, I have a hard time paying for just that. I'm not saying it's not worth it and that it's not a high quality piece, but when we're just talking about this and sheer performance, I personally, this represented a price point that I was more in tune with and feel like a lot of my subscribers are looking for as well. So as far as the housing goes, guys, there is, it is an updated housing that fixes the issues with the pump and the housing itself. Now that we've talked about the housing, let's talk to the next part here, and that is that I picked a stage one pump. It is not a true performance upgrade, however, with stricter quality control and tighter tolerances, CNC Fab is able to get more volume and pressure out of the same pump than from factory was received. And I know there's numerous rebuilders out there, Bosch, Alliant, and gosh knows how many others. However, CNC Fab is the company that made me feel better about the stage one pump that I was getting something more for my money than just another factory pump. I'm not saying that the other rebuilders don't have an updated housing, they very well may, but I'm not, I wasn't able to find that information. I'm not saying if you called them that you couldn't, but I personally was not able to find it. So as far as the stock pump goes, uh, mine was in pretty decent shape. I'm not sure how much in and out play there's supposed to be but uh, seems to be minimal. Uh, pump turns, and obviously there's still oil in here that's coming out, but as far as what you get in the box when you get this, so there is a plug in the top and in the bottom. I'm not sure how well that's showing up, but there is also a plug in the bottom of this to keep debris and foreign matter out of the pump itself to not ruin it. Now these pumps are also tested at his shop before being sent out, so there's no pumps with internal leaks or dead on arrival, they're all tested at CNC Fab prior to getting to you. Now, I have spent a fair amount of time on his website, so as far as the stage one goes, if you are running a 205 or smaller, 205cc injector that is, or smaller, this pump is going to do you just fine. If you start getting to the 225, you're probably okay. However, if you spend a lot of time at dyno events or at the drag strip, you might wanna go up to their stage two pump. Now the difference between their stage one and their stage two pump is that the stage two pump can actually hold up to 275 cc injectors quite well. And when I say by hold up to, I mean maintain oil pressure. Those of you guys know the six liter power strokes injectors function on a hydraulic oil system and that is made by this guy right here. So the stage one pump, like I said, how it produces more volume is tighter tolerances, better quality control than what these came from the factory, and that's how they increase output. It is a very, very moderate amount. A stock six liter pump, um, even these early style ones, will hold up typically to 190 cc injector. 
and you might start running into issues at dinos and drag strip events much further over a 190 however as far as road use and on the road how often are you really in the throttle hard enough to to reach the maximum of a stock six liter pump that's why since i have no intention of ever going bigger than a 190 cc injector the stage one was the pump for me now let's also talk price here this is a $600 pump with a $200 core charge. Obviously, after I shoot this video, I'm sending this pump back to him because I do want my $200 back. And he will refund me that. There's already a shipping label that comes with it. We'll get into what shipping is and all that. But So $600 plus your core charge puts you at $800 and then shipping on top of that. And uh, he's just a state over for me, so shipping wasn't real bad. Now YouTube, let's also talk warranty here, and there's a one year unlimited mile warranty on these pumps. They are guaranteed for that duration. I believe that is from the date of purchase, or date of shipment, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure, unless you can prove when you put this on, which I guess if a shop's doing it, there might be something there, but one year unlimited mile warranty on these pumps. Uh, again, I have no reason to believe that there's going to be any issues. Corey at CNC Fab was awesome to deal with. What an incredibly knowledgeable guy and just the utmost professional when talking about this pump. And he did not try to sell me on the Stage 2 pump. In fact, he kind of pushed for the Stage 1. And his point being was what I referenced. How many times, even if I did go with a big injector, how many times am I going to be in the throttle hard enough to run this pump out of oil pressure and volume? So... Again, since I'm going with fit relatively, uh, relatively moderate upgrade for injectors, the Stage 1 pump was the pump that I felt was best suited for me. Now, as far as what all comes with the pump, guys, there's a O-ring on top of these pumps. There's a J-tube that sits on top that has another O-ring. And then on the bottom of these pumps, when you pick them up, there's another O-ring uh, that flows high-pressure oil pump to this, and this pressurizes it and sends it to the branch tubes. Um, you get all three of those O-ring kits. It's a Ford kit. It's not some cheap knockoff stuff. He's not sending you any cheap O-ring kits to try to cut costs. You get a nice O-ring kit. I'm sure the O-ring kit is relatively cheap, all things considered, but the point is it's in this kit. Now also included are some instructions showing all the different O-rings and everything. This comes in the O-ring package that you get. Now YouTube, there is one thing I want to say if you're doing this, get a new high pressure oil pump cover gasket. And that part is not included in this, so I do highly recommend that gasket to apply at the same time. Now also, while you're doing that, if you have the early style pumps and you know there's a J-tube that comes off of this, this is what your cover looks like. And if you can see, I don't know how well this will show up, there's a added bump here that a lot of these covers don't have. This is a updated cover that came in, I think the very late 04s, or maybe it was more of a mid-year thing. And what you should be able to see is there's a additional recess here for the J-tube. I highly recommend looking for one of these covers. You can find them cheap online. I do need to get this one cleaned up. There's some rust under here. But this is one of the updated covers. And, and uh, that'll help with any J-tube issues. I, I actually recommend replacing the J-tube at the same time for whatever it's worth. Uh, you know, that's up to you, but something to consider while you're at it. Now, when you get this kit, he does give return shipping instructions. I'm just gonna read them. And basically what it's saying is that you're to repackage it exactly how you got it in the same box that it was shipped to you in. So you're gonna ship this box back to him so again, let's quick go over the price of this pump, and that is this is a $600 pump. The Stage 2 pump, guys, is $800, which I think is a great steal. The only other pumps I know for these that are similar would be roughly $400 more. Again, I hate to compare to another company so much, but that is what I've, that's the only pump I've out there seen is about $400 more expensive than this. Um, it does have a completely redesigned cover for whatever that's worth to you. It looks really cool, but you don't actually see this part at all. This part, you're never gonna see. Unless, if you see this part and your truck is supposed to be put together, you're having a very bad day. Again, core charge is also $200 and it's about, it was $20 to ship to me. Shipping may vary, so don't hold me to that. And it does come with a return label to ship back to CNC Fab. There's instructions as far as packaging this back, making sure it's snug and the pump is, you know, somewhat cleaned up. I'm sure he doesn't expect it to be in pristine condition, 
but it does give you instructions there. Also guys, I got two CNC fabrication. Uh, Diesel Performance is what it says, it has his website on there. I'm gonna put one on the truck for a while. I will have an extra one, so if you guys see me at any events and you want my spare one, I will make sure to throw it with me. Um, I only need one for the truck, so if you guys out there want one, let me know when you see me at an event and I'll be sure to hand that out to the first person that asks me. And just to represent a great company that's doing uh, great work at a, a reasonable price. Anyway, YouTube, if you guys have any questions for me or about this pump or any experiences, share those below in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed our content. Thank you guys for all the support. If this is your first time on the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.